Hello there, and welcome to another day in Cold Harbor. I decided I'm just going to jump into it today, since each episode is probably going to be a little bit self-contained. All you need to know is that I'm in Vigilant at 4. I'm just doing the Paladin Lee thing and killing all the random ghoulie boys that attack me on sight. I mean, if, if some of them didn't attack me on sight, maybe I wouldn't fight them. This is not quite yet the time that all the stuff is happening at Dorini Tower. But she will be stuck in here definitely longer than that. I mean, I would think so anyway. In any case, she's got not going to know what's happening. Blarg. I see Junol's library that I supposedly found, but haven't. Not really anybody up here, just some supplies. Wee. I'm able to go to way more places than like a vanilla dude, so I might not be supposed to be here. I'm doing everybody a favor by killing these plague leeches. I don't really have any direction though, so I'm just wandering around. Exploring. Well, a sewer is about as good a place as any. Again, she's not really sneaky usually, but in a realm filled with demons. I do not like that, whatever it is. Some help would be nice, Borlane. Although it's nice that he's not breaking stealth when I'm not breaking stealth. Alright, he's blasting up with arrows. Have at you, you blighters! Looks like they eat human flesh or are made of human flesh. Either way, checks out. He was just trying to eat his human flesh out of a bowl with some jerky. What? Eldritch horrors await me in here. I don't know what that is. Dark flesh. Not very descriptive. Well, at least none of this stuff seems to be very durable. I am kind of more worried that I'm going to get swarmed here in a minute. That guy had an iron. He's just trying to iron his clothes. I assume that's an enemy. It's got enough eyeballs. Or Tholo. Oh, that's blood. I don't like any of this.
Thank you, Ordinator, for that speed perk. Oh yeah, Bartholo is the vigilant at the end of Act 3 that I killed. Well, he got a lot less cool looking, but I guess he went to hell and, you know, got crappier. Great Soot Sword of Trinimac. Nothing is really an upgrade, but I'll take it all just because it's cool. Oh man, I can summon Vigilant Bartholo now. And he had a plate. I don't know what spit mod is adding stuff like that, but it's kind of funny. He was just sitting down at dinner of a real human heart. Uh, I wonder if there's anything else down here. Aha, thanks minimap. Hi, he's got a name. He's got aspirations and whatnot. Toodaloo! <laughs> what you doing down here? I'm playing a wandering swordsman. Call me Conrad, a wandering swordsman. Um, do you know Uncle Bartholo? Ooh. He promised to play with me, but I can't find him. Hey, he attacked me on sight, kid. Well, he's gone off on a journey. But that can't be. He didn't say anything about it. But he'll be back soon, won't he? That's rough, kid. I told you I would talk to one of these guys if they were nice. Bartholo was not nice, but uh, maybe he remembered me. And he wasn't just a monster, but he was trying to kill me because he remembered me. Huh, well I wonder where I get the key to this. I looked at some hints and it's actually way further than this. Not too much though, I wanna just screw around until I find all the stuff here and then get to the middle. Cause the amount of people you save or help and the amount of bad guys you defeat determines your karma. Which determines the ending for Vigilant you get. So not yet. <laughs> Whoops. But he still didn't react. And now he's dead. And his friend. Much better. Big night. Oh well, it's it's an adventure. Oh uh, yeah, I don't have EVG clamber on this character profile. Whoops. Oh my god, it's the bone wheel. I mean it's not an actual bone wheel, it's just a bone with wheels. That is great though. Funeral temple. I'll explore everything eventually. Future note, uh, the stuff in here is very deadly. And I'm going to leave in all of my deaths. Or at least enough of them that it's, that it's very obvious. I mean, at least there's not a penalty like in Dark Souls. Like, you just save and restore. But it was fun. I am now trapped. Some sort of puzzle or something. I wonder if these guys do anything. Oh, yep, they sure do. And the door at the back opens, so... I just gotta find my way through. Oh, wow, he's dealing damage to me. I better stay away from those statues. Not that I really can. And it's a maze. 
This is pretty interesting. I can probably heal through it though. Oh my God, the paths are changing. That's even more interesting. Hmm. All righty. Huh. That is something. Uh, kind of like the statues slowly moving towards me though. I don't like that. Ooh. Uh... I take it these fast moving statues are going to damage me too. Even if I'm near them, apparently. She is not incredibly fast. It would be nice if I had Whirlwind Sprint. Apparently, uh, the iframes of the, of the roll are good. I guess I was timing it really well earlier. Or that one just deals a ton of damage. Aha! Got you this time. Double hots heal over times. Well, yeah, that one just dealt a lot of damage. I guess being hit head on with it deals a lot more damage. Realized I was going the wrong direction anyway. Obviously I'm layering two heal over time spells to minimize any of that nearby damage I'm taking. The minimap is really nice to have for this. Made it, finally. What the heck? The little guy's chasing me and the camera's all messed up. I wonder if this is intentional. Oh my God, it's hard to play like this. So that's the door I came in. What am I supposed to do here? My controls are all messed up. Am I supposed to get to the stairs? The camera keeps moving. Oh my God, this is ridiculous. Okay, I run towards the brazier. Uh, okay. I'm just going to leave the room right now. Maybe. Oh, hey, I'm near the stairs. I can't see what's going on. Oh, I made it to the stairs. Yay. 
going to avoid entering that room ever again. What crazy thing is going to try and kill me in this room? Or maybe the next room. Oh, it looks like I'm backtracking. Uh, bring out the welcome wagon. Makes me think of the Gwendolyn fight. Uh, there might be a boss room up here. As the door slams shut. Whoa, that is really strong, specifically for her. I wonder if it works on all summons or just like stuff in this mod. Uh, Mimic Tear is really strong anyway. Results inconclusive. Hmm. Still not sure. Okay, two things from Vigilant. Some of the strongest stuff I have is from Vigilant too. Other than Mimic Tear, which is just a copy of me. That is really strong. Because she is a conjurer. As her like other thing besides two-handed weapons and destruction. Alright, gonna take this backtracking path and get out of here. Whoa. He wasn't there before. Hmm, well, I'm taking damage. Oh God, oh God. Just gonna get the F out of here. The flame lurker's noises are kind of freaking me out. All right, the old loop back. Well, that was an interesting little uh, tomb. I don't know if it really got me anything other than that extremely powerful ring. Oh, hey, here's where Barlor has been a hanging out this whole long. time. It is a good Not that he really could have helped me much, except for on that boss. Oh, I get it. They're too busy to fit through the doorways, so they can't fight back. Ah. Uh... Not very stealthy, is he? I guess, or useful. I'm just blasting these guys from really far away. None of my summons are really doing anything right now. Except running around like a little monkey boy.
I think I have PTSD from those damn statues. I am destroying these guys. I feel like they don't have a lot of magic resistance. I'm glad I built up her magic. And I have the perks for these things to be free. Thanks, Ordinator. Or maybe I'm just very strong. And capable of destroying otherworldly creatures. And I don't really need to use stealth. No, maybe it's a dead body. Oh, you got me. He was at least a little bit tough. And he's got some rusty knight of RK armor. Once again, not an upgrade, but I'm collecting them all. I have no idea where I'm going. Hmm. Grants a perk point. That's pretty cool. I'm sure that key will be useful for something. Oh, hey, I'm back where I started. At this point, I feel like each one of these locations is going to be its own full episode because there's so much to explore here. Vigilant could legitimately be its own game. Especially with Act 4, I feel like it's longer than any of the, the standard game DLCs. I feel like I've only really scratched the surface too. I don't want to be hasty in turning up the challenge, but, you know, because some things just instantly kill me. But these things are going down really easily. Even most of the bosses have been pretty easy. I've got to get the speed buff proc on my two end of weapons, but still. Or have just an OP follower. Also, by the way, I was thinking of trying to grab Gore because he's got his own dialogue for Vigilant. But I also realized that you have to start a new game to have Gore. Just like Valserano. Although... 
It would be easy to skip back to Act 4. She would not have the buffs from Agent of Righteous Might. See, this is why I'm no good at streaming, because uh, I don't know how long I just played without saying anything. I just kind of get in the zone, like when I'm writing, or when I used to write anyway. There's got to be something of interest in this cave. There is something interesting in every cave in Cold Harbor. Oh, hey. Looks like a giant pit. This is something interesting. A less rude song. Mountain Eater? They could have at least made it bigger. If he's some sort of boss worm. I do believe I'll bring out the big guns. Piece of ball, mountain eater. Let's me summon that guy. I wonder if he's of any use though. I did pull out a master level destruction spell on him with a buff and he was trapped in a doorway I'm a monster ooh underground lake God, look at all this. Each area has similar amounts of places to explore. Wow. Anyway, that's probably enough for today. No real, like, story advancement or anything. Last time I killed Varla, but this time I just killed a worm. Hope you all enjoyed this. Hope you all enjoyed Kalpic Collapse Intro slash Trailer. There'll be more to come. Thanks for watching. See you next time.